YouTubers and YouTubeettes, welcome back. Uh, this is the VHS update. You've seen the Blu-rays, you've seen the DVDs. Now it's time for the VHS. I've got quite a few. Uh, I, I struck gold, if I may say so myself. I uh, found a lot of good stuff. So, uh, what do you say we start this shit? Oh, I said that. Did I say that? The S word? Oh my god! Yeah, I'm pretty hyper. I'm pretty hyper. Um, I'm going to start off with a VHS that... I picked this one up a while back, been like shortly after Christmas, but I kept forgetting to bring it up in updates, so here it is. Uh, David Lynch's Blue Velvet, uh, with Dennis Hopper, Kyle MacLachlan, and Isabella Rossellini. Uh, I still haven't watched it, still haven't taken the time to watch this one, but uh, I've heard lots of good things. I actually, I read about it in uh, the book I have, uh, 101 Cult Classics You Must See, the book that... Uh, my girlfriend got me for Christmas, so uh, I thought, oh, for, I found it for a dollar at a pawn shop, I thought, oh, I'll pick it up, since it's in the book. So yeah, can't wait to watch that one. Uh, this next one was a 25 cent buy. Couldn't pass it up. Um, bought it at the SPCA bookshop. Still don't know what SPCA stands for, but it's a great place. Um, Tommy. The Who's Tommy. Uh, I love The Who. So, um, I thought I have to buy this for 25 cents. It'd be crazy not to. Uh, I got so many cool names in there. Eric Clapton, um, Tina Turner, Jack Nicholson, just Elton John. It's gonna be cool. I, I still haven't watched it, but, uh, looking really forward to it. I love the music of The Who, so it's gonna be cool. Uh, this one here was given to me by my friend Eric. Uh, he bought it at a pawn shop. Actually, we were at a pawn shop together looking around. And I noticed him buy this, I thought it was for him, but then when he said that, I was like, Here man, it's for you! He's like, it's cool running. So I thought that was pretty cool. He thought it would be something cool in my collection. Uh, still haven't seen it. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces of it on TV growing up, but I never really watched it from beginning to end. But I love John Candy, so, uh, should be, I'm sure it's going to be a good watch. So, cool running. Thank you, Eric. Uh, oh, and these next two were bought, I think, last week or the week before. And, uh, couldn't pass these up. Uh... Clamshells, got NeverEnding Story 3, the only one I haven't seen, um, with the kid from Free Willy, uh, I don't know, I heard it's terrible, uh, but Alex is often talking to me about it, and, uh, from what he says, the main reason to watch it is because there's a uh, young Jack Black in it, well, young, you know, early in his career, this was, uh, 1996, so around the time he did Cable Guy, Mars Attacks, that kind of stuff. So I'm curious to see that. Jack Black has a bully. And, uh, but yeah, apparently the movie's not that great, but I thought, it's rare, I never see it anywhere, and this was a, a dollar. So, I thought, gotta, gotta buy that. And at the same place, I found the Dark Crystal, which, again, I haven't seen the Dark Crystal, but, uh, I love Labyrinth, and the, apparently these go hand in hand, so I'm sure I, I would like it. Uh, I've, I've been seeing the DVD for ten bucks at Blockbuster lately, and I, I was so tempted to buy it, but, found this for a dollar, I thought I'd buy the VHS, see what I think. And if it's that great, I'll upgrade. Yeah, green case, green clamshell. Okay, this next bunch I found, I buy them all together at this kind of, I don't know if you can call it thrift shop, Goodwill, I don't really know, but they had a bunch of VHS tapes, one there with my girlfriend, and I was just amazed. So I picked up quite a few. First one, small clamshell case, Barney Miller, 70s, late 70s, early 80s, cop, sitcom. I used to watch reruns of this uh, back when I was in high school and uh, it's a good show. Uh, these are mostly, I think, season 6 episodes on here. Season 5, season 6. Which if I'm not mistaken, those aren't on DVD yet. Those specific seasons. So these episodes aren't on DVD if I understand correctly. So uh, Pretty good episodes. The first two episodes on this tape, uh, guest star Christopher Lloyd. I was going to say Christopher Walken. Christopher Lloyd. Dog Brown himself. Uh, he plays two different roles in each episode, so it's pretty, pretty cool to see him. But yeah, Barney Miller, good sitcom. Checks approved. Uh, next one, a Warner Clamshell. Pretty much the reason why I bought this movie. Uh, I love Warner Clamshells. You know that, I've said that many times before. Uh, it's called Vision Quest. Adult drama, from what it says. I don't know, it looks kind of like a flash dance, footloose type of flick. But it has Madonna in her prime in it. and. Lots of lots of Madonna music. Madonna's rock hits, Crazy For You and Gambler. Uh, it's got Matthew Modine, Linda Fiorentino, and Michael Schoffling. That name rings a bell. But anyway, um, 
looks hard. Looks like it has potential. I don't know. It was mainly because I love Warner clamshells. The main reason I bought this. So I thought, what have I got to lose? These were a dollar seventy-five a piece, which isn't too bad. I mean, it seems like a lot when you're used to paying like ninety-nine cents or a dollar for VHS. You're like a dollar seventy-five. Whoa! <laughs> when you think of it, that's a steal. When you're using, <laughs> when you when you can get some for like fourteen bucks on eBay, a dollar seventy-five isn't too bad. <laughs> This next one, I couldn't pass it up. I thought it looked super cool, 80s cheesy -ness. Uh It's Gary Coleman, for safety's sake. Um, this is uh, like an educational video for kids, obviously. And uh, I watched, not all of it, I watched most of it. And, you know, that's all it is, an educational program for kids. It's very cheesy, but... Uh, I, I'm a Gary Coleman fan. Well, I'm a Different Strokes fan. I love Different Strokes. And that's why I bought this. I mean, I know Gary Coleman in his later years. He was, you know, a bit of a creep. You know, let's be honest. Uh, he wasn't the nicest guy, but uh, I just loved Different Strokes and his earlier stuff when I was a kid. So I thought I'd buy this. Might be rare. Um, next one up, classic. Couldn't believe I didn't have this. Look who's talking. First one. Kirstie Alley, John Travolta, Talking Babies, well, the Thoughtful Baby, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Okay, this next one, are you ready for this? Um, this is a movie I'm glad I found. I actually had a VHS dub, like, I had made myself a copy years back, but I'm, I'm happy to find the original. Not on DVD yet. It's No Retreat, No Surrender, uh, Van Damme's first movie if I understand correctly, and he's like the villain, the uh, evil opponent. Uh, he plays Ivan the Russian in this movie, and uh, it, this is so great. This is a great martial arts cheese fest. Uh, if you're a fan of martial arts, Van Damme, anything like that, track down this movie. Uh, like I said, it's not on DVD, and this is the New World Video um, SP mode version. It, it's actually, this movie's pretty hard to find in the SP mode, this, this specific edition. I, I've seen it a few times before, but it was always like the EP mode. It's like, ah, not the, not really a fan of that quality, but, so yeah, the, and the quality of this tape, it's pretty worn out, as you can see by the side label here. Looks like it had been split open, so. There were some lines going up and down the picture every now and then, but, um, still, the quality, it was still watchable. But, uh, yeah, track this down, no retreat, no surrender. Um... Next one up, some Woody Allen goodness, bananas. Um, I actually, if I really think about it, I don't really have Woody Allen movies that I know of, and I should. Uh, from what I've seen of his, I like Woody Allen. Uh, and I pretty much picked up this one because I guess Sylvester Stallone has a little role in it. He plays like a thug or something. It's brief, but I heard he was in it, so I thought, that's cool. A Woody Allen movie I would really like to find... I've seen when I was 14 or 15 is um, Love and Death, I think it was called. It was, it was awesome, and I've never seen it available for sale anywhere to this day. I, that was like 10 years ago I've seen it, and I've never seen it for sale. And it was such a great movie. Uh, my sister's boyfriend introduced me to that, and I, that was like pretty much my start in Woody Allen movies, and I thought, wow, that's, that's amazing, hilarious. But yeah, but can't wait to watch this one, Bananas. Next one up. I didn't actually have this one, so I thought I gotta buy it. I have the first one. It's Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Um, I've got the first one, Pet Detective, on the same uh, Warner's Hits uh, label, so I thought, well, uh, I gotta complete the set. You know, I often think of getting the DVDs, but the VHSs will do for now. Uh, not as good as the first one, but still a fun time. It's still Jim Carrey, and it's still Ace Ventura, so you can't go wrong. Um, Next one up, classic. I uh, had to pick this one up. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Love this movie. I actually had a VHS tape of it already, but it didn't have a case. It didn't have a cover box, so gotta get it with the with the case. You know, looks better on the shelf. Next one, I've only seen this one for the first time lately. My uh, my girlfriend has it on DVD, and uh, it was a great '80s fun movie. It's Can't Buy Me Love, Patrick Dempsey. Uh, I enjoyed it. Has a very young uh, Seth Green in it with his younger brother. Check it out. It's awesome to see Seth Green so young. But yeah, Can't Buy Me Love. Great 80s fun. <laughs> the next one. 
Another one I actually haven't seen from beginning to end. Are you ready for this? The Hills Are Alive! Yes, the, with the sound of music. Um, this is a cool double tape CBS Fox edition. The original release. Um, yeah, I've never seen the sound of music in its entirety. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces on TV, you know, I know some of the songs. Uh, but uh, I've never really sat down and watched it. So for $1.75, cool double tape. Couldn't pass it off. Yeah, it is a classic, right? So, yeah. Would have been crazy not to. I love, I just love the CBS Fox look of the tape. They all have the same writing. I don't know. I like that. Last! I was going to say last but not least, but yeah, <laughs> it, it is the least. It's, uh, Stuart Saves His Family. Now, I got this one for free. It was given to me, and, uh, that's a good thing, <laughs> because, I don't know, I like to be an optimist, you know, I like to see good in every movie, but this one wasn't that great. I mean, it did make me laugh. It had some moments, but it, in the whole, uh, it was kind of boring for the most part. I couldn't really get into it, but, uh, it's got, um... Uh, I forget his name, sorry. Al Franken playing Stuart. And this was actually an SNL character in the mid-90s, early to mid-90s. I remember first seeing the character on SNL. Uh, I used to watch SNL in the, in the 90s. Well, my sister would tape it, and then we'd watch it Sunday afternoon, you know, because it was, it was on late. But anyway, I remember seeing this character, Stuart, on SNL, and he had his, his uh, starring role movie in 1995, and this is it. And, uh... It's okay, but like I said, kind of drags. It's Stuart, he's like this kind of motivational speaker who has his own show, and then his show gets cancelled, and his family's going through a crisis, and he tries, you know, his father and his brother, they're alcoholics, and he's trying to kind of bring the family together, and, you know, it could have been better. But, uh, he's a cool character, though. Al Franken pretty much saves the movie. He's, he's really good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's alright. I'm, I'm glad to have it. But, uh, I'm even more glad it was free. Um, so yeah, that's um, those are all the VHSs I've got in the past month. Um, you see, you see the Blu-rays and DVDs. Thank you for watching. And oh, also before before I finish, I just want to say that uh, I just want to thank everyone. Like in the past month, like like I said, I haven't I hadn't been doing videos, but people have been messaging me and saying, you know, oh, I can't wait to see your next video, you're awesome, and stuff like that, and, you know, even uh, Movie John 75 he did, like, a shout-out video, uh, and, he met, and I had a mentioning in there, and, uh, it's overwhelming, you know, I'm, I'm speechless, and I'm just, I, I appreciate that very much, that you guys like the videos, you like Cinebo Supreme, you like me and Alex, uh, thank you so much, it's really appreciated, and, um, Keep watching, we'll keep doing what we're doing. So I uh, thank you and uh, peace out. <laughs>